I mean, the last time I was here on my European tour, I received one of those circular emails from my mom, you know, the kind that includes every member of your family, you know, and that happens, it's either gonna be good news or horrible, and it definitely was the latter. Long story short, family member of mine going in for emergency surgery, 50-50 whether or not they're gonna make it. Email me the next day and tell me how it went. Now the good news is, ladies and gentlemen, she made it, she's gonna be with us for years and years to come, but I got a little emotional. <laughs> and I hit reply all. <laughs> and I sent this message to every member of my family. I said, look, I know since my divorce, I've been a bit weird. There's reasons for that, but I'm coming out to Canada and I'm gonna be around the people I feel most comfortable with. P.S. I love you guys, and I'm 40 years old, and I don't give a shit who knows I love my family. I don't think that's unmanly or effeminate. If you have some of your family, you feel that way, Bell. You tell them, you tell them, and you tell them tonight because you may never get another chance, but if you do it with an email, take my advice and proofread your fucking email <laughs> before you send it. Because sometimes it's not about the words you do say, it's about the words you leave out because maybe you're a little hungover at a different time zone. Because <laughs> I finished that heartwarming email to my family with the message P.S. I love guys. 